<clears throat> Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, I'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rokakadash, the bonds to the head elders and apostles, a great millstone who we want to teach well. Also, I want to give a shout out there to the whole Felek, to your Akim, if you are quite who are sincere and the truth, as well as believers as well, but not just believers, but doers as well. And this is just going to be another quick lesson through the spirit of power, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Lord will it be edifying, you know, and I got a, the beloved brother, Micah A, right here next to me, you know, but um, as you see the title of this lesson, it says, and it shall be, it shall be faith, you know, which is a quick reminder on faith, man, but what shall be faith? Your deliverance, you know, you, you getting up out of Babylon the Great, it should be by the way of faith, man, you know, your belief, <laughs> you see? But we're going to start off here in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and verse 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtain a good report. All right? So faith is the things hoped for, the evidence of uh, things not seen. For example, the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's something that we hope to receive through the spirit of power Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. You know, although we don't see it being built, you know what I mean, physically, in a physical form, you know, you got fucking heathens over there in our land. Now, we don't see them building up, the, you know what I mean, buildings with, with gold, you know, uh, uh, palaces, you know, gold palaces and shit. No, man, we don't see that yet. You know, but there's something that we hope for, man. You know, the evidence of things not seen, man. And, and what's the evidence? Uh, prophecy, you see, or hey, what's that? Um, them niggas that found all that gold. Who was that? Uganda, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Yep. See, we know that's a hey, that's that's a sign for the kingdom of the heaven is near, man. Mm -hmm. You see, what it said. Um, repent, therefore, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Roughly paraphrasing. You see, that's our faith, man. You know that the kingdom of heaven is near. You got some art? Uh, just a uh, quick definition, simple Google definition of faith. It says complete trust or confidence in Ooh. someone, on, in someone or something. Mm -hmm. You know, going back on what the brother was saying, we got complete trust and confidence that we got a world beyond Babylon, man. Yep. You know, we starting with our Lord Yahweh Shot. That's it, bro. Man, I got a uh, quick one for you. This is Sirach two and nine. It says, "Ye that fear the Lord." Hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Mm -hmm. You know, and we hoping for that good. And what's that good? The kingdom, man. That's that yeah. good. We that's what we hope for. That's what we got full trust and confidence, you know, in. You yep. know? That's what we put our stock into. You know, that's we it. set our affections on, on things above, man. That's you know it, what bro. you got it out. All right, I'm gonna jump down to the verse six. The sixth verse to lock him. It says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that digitally seek him. So without faith, you can't please the Lord, man. You know? Because if you ain't got faith, you ultimately don't believe on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The Lord ain't dealing with you for one. You know what I may say? Because that uh, hey, having faith is actually a gift, and we're going to get that in a second. But without faith, again, it, 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 it's impossible to please the Lord, man. You know, you'll get that scripture of uh, faith is dead without works, Bible Kushan. You know, and, and because if I may say, you know what I mean, the, the, the proof that we have faith, you know, in your how about was shot, we doing the works. You know, by what? Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, first and foremost. And, and here feeding the sheep. Lord said, ye love me, feed my sheep. You know? But as for like, you know, you believers and you and you sisters out there. You know, you few sisters who are actually trying out there, man. You know, your your works are you you seeking the man of the Lord, man. You see, you keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, daily to the best of your ability. That that's your works, man. You showing the Lord that you actually believe under Him, that you think that you actually believe that He's real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you got it, brother. Uh, this uh, <clears throat> this James two and twenty says, but wilt thou know? Oh, vain man, that faith without works is dead. Yep. Faith without works is dead, man. So a nigga can say, oh, I, faith, I got I believe in the Lord. I got faith in y'all by showing But if he's not showing it, then it's dead, man. You see? 
And I'm going to continue on. Oh, Salah. Oh, Salah. If I may, I got a quick precept to bag that up. You got it, bro. Uh, this Matthew 15 and 8, it said, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth Ooh. and honor me with their lips, yep. but their heart is far from me. So just yep. going back on what the brother was saying, that's what you two-thirds, that's what you like to do. Even you niggas that know that you Israel, man. You know, you ultimately, you draw nigh to your Habashimah Shah with your mouth. You know, you constantly say, yeah, I, I trust in Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Yeah, I know Yahweh by Shemal Shah. But in your works, you showing different, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, you, your, your actions really show differently, man. That's, That's it's it. the opposite of what you're saying. You know, That's but you it, got bro. It. You know, <laughs> hey, Lord is about action. He ain't about all that goddamn talk, man. You know, but let me continue. It says, by faith, Noah being warned of Yahweh, of things not seen, as yet, as yet moved with fear. Prepared an ark to the saving of his house. And, and look, that's what we're doing here again today, man. We in the spirit of Noah, man. You see? Starting with our head elders and apostles, a great millstone. First, first and foremost, starting with them. You see? They, 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 they're building up that spiritual ark, man. You know? Although you can't physically see it. You know what I mean? It's there, man. Mm -hmm. According to your faith. According to your faith. That's it. You know? According to your faith, man. And he said he moved with fear because that's the first step of coming to the Lord, man. To move with fear, man. Mm -hmm. You see? But continue. It says, prepare the ark for the saving of his house. And what is that? Hey, today that house is for the elect of Israel, man. You know? The 144,000 government body and the one third that, that believe, you know, unto this truth. By the way of the doctrine, man. But it continues. By the which he condemned the world and became here of the... Of the righteousness which is by faith. So it shall be by faith. <laughs> it shall be by faith, man. You got something, brother? <clears throat> this Ephesians 2 and 8, it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith. Ooh, hey, that spirit. I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna hold I was bring that out. I was gonna hold it. But you can bring it out. I, you got it. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the most high. So mm. to have faith, that is an actual gift from Yahweh Shemal Shah himself. That has to be instilled in you from the foundations of the earth, man. Oh. You know? That had to be that's a certain ingredient that had to be in your DNA from the beginning of time. I mean mm. from the foundations of the earth, man. You know? And Yahweh Shemal Shah, he's built us in a way to believe the things that are not seen, man. Ultimately to believe on this doctrine, man. Matter of fact, if I may say his word is what we have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's all we got. That's all we, we got. Need. We got to trust in Yahweh by Shimei mm -hmm. And what you just said, you know, you said how the Lord has shown us things that uh, to believe in things that are not seen. Mm -hmm. How do we believe in that? By the way of what? His word. Mm -hmm. You know, matter of fact, let's get real quick. I'm going to get the um, book of Numbers, chapter 23 and verse 19. It says, Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. He has said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? You know, so the Lord is not a man that he should lie, right? The Lord has, has, has used his prophets, you know, the men of the Lord, starting with the head, elders, and apostles, great millstone on down, as well as the light-minded brothers that teach the same doctrine. He have used, you know, those men, you know, that the prophesy unto you, which going into sin before, you know, and we seen these things come to pass. So therefore, what? We have a reason to believe, man. Mm -hmm. You know, if the Lord said it's going to be a famine, you know, and we seeing it play out, then, hey, that's a reason. Hey, shit, Lord telling the truth, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he said he's going to take now Esau, and therefore that's what he's going to do, man. He's not a man that he should lie. Again, you know, just a quick example. You know, let me get on. Um, Real quick, let's get John 20 and 29. And it says, Yahweh Shah said to them, Thomas, because thou hast seen, seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Ooh, so, hey, we ain't seen Yahweh Shah physically. <laughs> hey, that's it. Amen. But look, we ain't seen Yahweh Shah physically. But what? We believe. So blessed are you that believe in him, man. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You see? You got something, brother? Uh, what you just bought out? Uh, that's John 20 29. Kind of just to bag this up. This uh, second is just 1 and 37. It says, I take to witness the grace of the people to come, mm -hmm. whose little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen me with bodily Ooh. eyes, yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. Oh man, you know, come on, man. Man. Yeah, man. Come on man, come on man. That's it. And yeah. uh, I go to the uh, Edelman of bodily, bodily, it says um, in bodily form. Mm -hmm. So really we haven't seen Yahweh Shah with the physical eye, yep. but yet through the words, yep. we believe man. Yep. We believe and that's faith man, that's that ingredient. We that's believe it, the things that Yahweh, we believe whatever is written in this book man. We believe these things will come to pass, man. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it, believe it or not, man. That's it, bro. Because we know that Yahabba Shemal Shah is not a man that he should lie, man. That's it. You got it, huh? All right. So we go. Hey, what we get? Let's go. Um, I'm going to get a quick one. You know, it's often brought out in the fucking Christian church, but they ain't got the meaning, man. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Mm. And that's what we do, man. Mm -hmm. We walk by faith, man. You know what I mean? See, even this doctrine, it's a faith-based doctrine, man. It's on you to believe, man, according to your faith, like the brother quoted, man. You see? But two-thirds, they don't believe, man. You know, that's why the Lord said, hey, the unfaithfulness shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. But by the fact, speaking of two-thirds, let me get second answers. You know, we often bring it out. But, hell, we're going to get it again. Second answers, 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper. Here's the point. For they are faithful and true. Mm. So here it is. These words are faithful and true. And that's why we seen these words come to pass, man. You know what I mean? You know, by the way, his prophecy that he set up. The Lord said, I will give you part, um, preachers according to, so like a pastor's according to my heart. Mm -hmm. You know? So we know these men are sent by the Lord, man. Because what? They come with the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Which is what? The spirit of prophecy, you see? <laughs> but that's all I got, brother. You got some? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, that's it. Lord willing, it was edifying. We're going to end it up by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, the ones that are here, and apostles, a great millstone who will want to teach well, giving a shout out there to the whole filet. You are him if you are cross who is sin and it's true, as well as believers of this word, not just believers, but doers as well. With that, will I say shalom? Shalom. DTA, a bob, a bob. Soon.